Patch point 2.4 is upon us and we have the introduction of Iggy and Scorch as well as huge changes to movement speed and the deck building system within Paragon and other minor changes. The first one, Iggy and Scorch, is one I will be talking about more in a spotlight video so keep an eye out for that. Movement speed. Now movement speed in Paragon has been a controversial topic ever since online test 1. In OT1 it would take you at least half an hour to go from your base back into lane. I mean everything happened in slow motion and it was boring as shit but there was potential. Since then we've seen an increase in movement speed during the online test and now we have one during early access. The base speed has been increased by 12.5% and Epic have said they don't plan on ever increasing it above this rate which I guess makes sense because the game becomes more like Call of Duty than a MOBA. I played a couple of games with the new movement speed and I'm enjoying this change. It definitely rewards those with better reactions and does increase the level of skill required. You can dance between shots and dodge them if you're good enough and it does feel satisfying. I do however feel like casters got absolutely slaughtered here. I could be wrong since I didn't really try any of them out in the new patch but escaping Gideon's cosmic rift and black hole is a lot easier. The quicker you can get out the less damage you take and the same goes with Howitzer especially his ultimate. It's really easy to escape his ultimate since there's no slow effect. That's not to say Epic are not going to do anything about it, with the change as drastic as movement speed it makes sense to wait and see how the players adapt. This is probably the same reason they haven't nerfed Murdoch. Along with the movement speed increase they removed the strafing penalty which is when heroes are moving left right or diagonally. They also reduced combat slow which is your movement speed penalty for when you're attacking with basic attacks. The deck builder. Now I'm pretty disappointed with this change and if you follow me on twitter you'll know why. So what Epic thought would be a good idea would be to link upgrade cards to their equipment card. This means that you could only ever pick upgrade cards that could be slotted into that specific card. A great idea because new players would often pick incompatible cards like if your card had the basic stats of energy damage and energy pen then you could only ever apply energy damage and energy pen but this wasn't abundantly clear from the beginning so players would often pick you know attack speed or crit chance trying to add it to this card when it wasn't compatible. But Epic have introduced a way to stop this but the execution of the idea is so poor. I mean they've stopped people from adding upgrade cards they can't equip but they could still choose physical damage for a hero that does energy damage. Like that doesn't make any sense. This should have been the first thing removed and if players wanted for whatever reason to use a physical card maybe because of the passive then provide a warning that it doesn't affect this hero's damage. Likewise if an enemy hero wanted to use an energy card. And this is just the start of the problems. Another problem and I have no idea how this could have ever made it past testing if they even do that sort of stuff is how slow is this scroll speed. I mean god forbid I want to pick that piece of shit overpriced portal stone card. I can't even. Sure you'll say ace. There's a scroll bar but fuck that man I want to be able to scroll up and down quickly to pick cards that I want. And what the fuck. They've removed the filter and search. I mean honestly, don't bother releasing a card system without this. I see no point. Not just for Paragon, but any game should have this functionality. It's like the basic essentials. These are the only two things that make a deck builder functional. Now new players have no idea what the fuck anything does. People who are familiar with the game can't search for their cards. I mean why not just release it in a week's time when you say you'll have the filter and search implemented. I could go on for days with the number of problems with this system. I mean stupid shit like this. Why the fuck did these cards not stack? Sure I know Epic are going to fix it but you had it before and you straight up removed it. And then there's the problem that you can't even see the stats of cards you've selected. You have to click on them. This is just taking one step forward and ten steps back. I mean I don't want to click on every single card to remember what stats they have. Like I said I could go on for days but I won't because it's going to be boring. The reason you guys and myself are probably so annoyed and frustrated with these changes is because of how polished Paragon actually is. I mean the gameplay is really really good and it's more of a testament to how well Epic have actually done. I have to remind myself that this game is still in early access and these are teething problems so I'll let it slide for now but when open beta hits. There were loads of other changes like co-op versus AI no longer reduces XP or rep after level 20 so now you can just farm rep against bots using an AFK script. Which brings me on to the hero race. 
A day before Iggy and Scorch was released, Epic announced a hero race that would in short reward the first three players for reaching master rank on Iggy and Scorch. This is in my opinion a great idea, but immediately it's clear that it's pay to win. Anyone who has an XP boost is going to get XP twice as fast, and those without the boosts are going to lose. I don't even blame Epic, this is the first time they're doing a competition, I'm sure they'll learn from this. The real problem with me is that I've heard people are just 5 stacking against bots and farming XP. This means you can level faster because let's face it, bots in Paragon are retarded. You can win in 15 minutes and play again with no queue time, whereas those playing PvP are kind of punished. On average a game is 20 to 30 minutes and then you have to be in a 5 stack on the day a hero is released because I mean good luck trying to solo queue with a new hero. And that's all folks, just wanted to say don't think I'm attacking Epic, these guys have put out a great game and I'm really having a blast playing it. I forget that this game is still only in early access just because it's better than a lot of other games I've played and we are testing things for them so I get it. Remember, I don't go over all the patch notes, I just go over stuff that I feel is relevant and stuff that you guys probably want to listen to instead of saying, oh gadgets Q now does 1.2 damage scaling or some bullshit like that. So if you want to check out all those patch notes, I'll put a link down in the description below. If you like this video, hit me with a thumbs up down below. Let me know what you think of the patch changes and check out my weekly Paragon Top 5 Plays Episode 6 here.